page, man. I could make it public if you guys want to see what the hell I listen to because it's all over the place, but it is, it's literally a middle finger emoji. I call it my fuck you playlist. <laughs> I love it. And nice. I keep updating it, but yeah, a lot of it, a lot of it's, you know, the d- disciple, never say die and shit like that. But uh, recently it's been a lot of subsidiary releases and shit too, man. They don't fuck around, man. They don't release garbage, dude. That shit, oh my God. Yeah, a lot of that stuff on subsidiary is like, Mm-hmm. What the fuck? And it's much. artists that I'm so happy to see. Oh, hell yeah, dude. K- Kaivon. Um, All right, so there's another one, too, that's on the subsidiary releases. Uh, hmm. Big shout out to... Oh, I mean, there's a lot of them that I personally know. Oh, for real? Like, I mean, there's a lot of people that, you know, I've, I've met throughout a couple gigs, uh, like Shoku. Oh, who, shit, who okay. used to go, Who used to go by Michi, but um, I know... I've been he knowing, used to be Michi? Yeah. Holy shit, yeah, I did so, not know that. So, for, before, it was first Michi, and then it was Shoku, and, uh, you know, I would always just say, uh, following this person, just because I met him at an innovative meeting. Uh, he would play a lot of innovative events. and uh, I think he might have played opened. A lot of... Did he open in Long Beach? I, I wouldn't doubt For it. For nasty? No, no, I believe it. I believe it, yeah. Oh, shit, because Michi sounds familiar. No, yeah, he probably did play as Michi. Because I think the Shoku rebranding started, like, I want to say last year. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Shoku, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, big shout out to you, uh, Gom. Yeah, especially uh, it's a lot of artists. It's fucking a lot of artists. laser beams, dude. I was too late to submit to that fucking re- uh, remix contest, but I wanted to because that laser beams remix was fucking sick. Yeah, or no, not the uh, remix, the, the the original. Yeah, but, no, yeah, yeah, he's doing the remix competition. Yeah, when a collab with him, I was him. too late. Oh, for real? Yeah, so if you uh, the Shoku remix that he's doing, or no, I'm sorry, the the remix competition that he's doing is for his original. Mm-hmm. Uh, he opened it up for anyone to remix it. So if anyone uh, wins that, or it ends he's, on the seventeenth, though, I'm already too late. Yeah, so it's tomorrow at midnight that mm-hmm. it ends, and he uh, the winner actually gets to do a collab with do him, a collab right? with That's what you're him. Saying. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, yeah, big that. shout yeah. out to again Shoku. Fuck yeah, Gom, and again, uh, I'm. It's, you met Gom? There's a lot of... I've actually played... Oh, so, so, you mother... All right, so check this out. So uh, I actually met Gom before he was Gom. Like, he really? Was, he was some person called Chris Rod. And I met him at a show called Local Sessions in mm-hmm. Pomona who was booked by uh, a, a really uh, dope person uh, by the name of Anthony who, mm-hmm. who manages a lot of artists like Christian, uh, Whipped Cream. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, a bunch of people. So um, that person... Wait, that Christian? Christian, yeah, or it's like that. I like, feel, I feel like it's Christian, Cr- Christian, right? It's with the V. K S, yeah, 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 yeah. K R S A C H V N. So this person, yeah. uh, this guy Anthony, uh, pretty much booked us for a show in Pomona, and that's where I got to actually uh, meet Chris Rod, and then from there I followed him. Mm-hmm. Then like he did rebranding into Gom, which is yeah. getting away with murder. That was really smart too, because yeah. that was, I mean, get away with murder, man. Like that's sick. That his name is a fucking acronym. And that, and he kind of made his own sound that people are now like copying, which is that like high, high pitch ringing fe- yeah, frequency yeah, yeah, to yeah. the 808. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, I mean, and then it's crazy how, uh, how a, a, a series of events happen like from into the future from when I first met him. Cause I met him first as Chris Rod. And the last time I hanged out with him was the drive in, uh, the Halloween drive in rave that I mm-hmm. played, uh, with them, uh, for Virtual Riot, Eliminate oh, on damn. Halloween. So that was the last time I hanged out with him was on Halloween of 2020 for that driving rave. And then I also had booked him for a low-end show in Riverside when we first started doing low-end. Oh, shit. And uh, he was uh, he was gone. So it was, uh, again, it's just crazy how, um, like, meeting meeting new mm-hmm. and uh, talking with who you know and, like, just like, just like Southern dude, California it's a small in general, world, dude. yeah. Southern California is SoCal, just a small man. world, like, and we're talented motherfuckers. And yeah, you, and you ain't ready for us. And <laughs> dead ass. And honestly, uh, it's crazy to me how like with the with this industry and the and the music scene out here in Southern California, you know, just going out to shows, mm-hmm. like meeting people, connecting. Like even when you Networking, said like you met yeah. you met with Chance at the industry night. Like when I made the industry night uh, with. Uh, for low end at the S bar, like I'm glad you guys had those kinds of conversations. Like, oh yeah, like I'm young retro, I'm, I'm <clears> Chance, <throat> I'm Alien Crusader. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm really glad that a lot of those conversations were happening because again, you never know the kind of things that uh, that turn out yeah. from those kinds of conversations. I met Synthetic that night too. Synthetic, you know, he was here. Uh, He's three, lagging. Ago. You need to do a fucking collab with me, and you know it. You're <laughs> lagging, motherfucker. I've hit him up so many times, and he's like, "It's not ready yet." Like, dude. That sounds like synthetic. <laughs> bro, let's get this shit going, man. Because synthetic has that sound that is, like, perfect for a collab with Young Retro, dude. I'm so fucking ready to do a collab with him. But, yeah. um, Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah. um, Fucking gom, dude. Nah, dude. I, I got his... Sorry, go ahead. What were you going to say? Go right ahead, bro. 
<laughs> no, I was gonna say I got his Patreon. I wanted to, I wanted to check out some of his project project files. Yeah, and, he's. Uh, uh, I believe he debuted his Patreon with a pro- a project breakdown. Yeah, that he was doing. So, um, oh, was that with Cruz? Is I, that the one with Cruz? It's. Uh, I think it might just be his own. Uh, his own like. Original track. Oh, it was okay. the one that he released with Sub City, I believe, called Mad About. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. So uh, that he, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm wrong with this. Uh, no, yeah, I, you... Gom, but it's uh, he did a project breakdown with one of his tracks called I think it's Mad About, mm-hmm. which released on Sub on the on the fucking stop playing that shit, 111 way. track fucking mm-hmm. album and shit. And uh, fucking a dude. I mean. So much talent in Southern California, mm-hmm. bro. And I'm really blessed to have been, to know a lot of these cats and uh, just to be, uh, just to have been around uh, and played for a lot of these foods too. I mean, it's a blessing and, you know, and this is just Southern California. Mm-hmm.